Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IHC Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the WaterNet Analyzer plugin. With the plugin we can find the streams that are connected and we can route water from the upstream to the downstream. Let's install the plugin. And then we can find it in the processing toolbox. There's an other group there, WaterNet Analyzer. And there's a tool there for the water network constructor, for the flow path upstream downstream, and to calculate a long flow path. I'm going to demonstrate each of them. The first tool is the network constructor, which is needed to add the fields to the attribute table to generate the network. So I choose the root channels here and I select an outlet segment and then I choose an existing ID field and this has the segment ID and when I run it it will create a new layer which has at the end of the attribute table the fields added that are needed for the network analysis the net ID, the net to and net from and if the segments don't connect the fields get unconnected but we don't need this because I use in this example the Saga channel output that I've also used in other videos and that already has the necessary fields. So I can simply run the next tool, flow path upstream downstream, use upstream, choose the segment ID, use node A as from node and next node node B. And then you see that it can derive the whole stream network that is draining into that segment. Now let's do it the other way around, upstream to the downstream. I have to choose here downstream, but the rest of the fields remain the same. And I click run, it selects all the downstream segments all the way to the outlet. Let's try it for another one. And there it also works. So it's a great tool to route from a selected segment downstream to the outlet or vice versa. If you want to save the selected layer, we can of course export the selected features to a new layer. The last tool of the plugin is the Calculate Along Flow Path, which accumulates uh, values in the segments downstream. And we're going to accumulate here the length, so we have the total length accumulated by adding the length of the different segments. We use the same fields for the network and then we run it. It creates a new layer. And in the attribute table we then find the total length of the selected segment downstream. So that's the total length of the upstream area accumulated downstream to that segment. 